If you're new to editing photos, then this video is for you. This is a complete walkthrough of all of the basic editing features available in the Apple Photos app. Let's start with editing photos. Open a photo and tap on edit. The adjustment layer is selected by default. You'll notice three icons on the left hand side as well as many properties on the right. On the left hand side, you've got the adjustment layer icon, the filters icon, and the crop icon. And on the right hand side, you've got the properties as shown. To adjust any property, just tap on it to select it and use the slider to change the value. If you bring the saturation all the way up, it oversaturates the photo. But if you bring it all the way down, you have a black and white photo. At this point, no more edits would be necessary. So just tap on done and the changes will be applied to that photo. You can go back into edit once more. Tap on brightness and increase the brightness. This makes the photo brighter and removes the redness. Next, I'll tap on highlights and bring those all the way up. As you can see, the photo looks much different. Did you know that you can copy and paste edits to other photos? To do this, just tap on select. Select your edited photo, then tap on the three dots and tap on copy edits. Your edits will be copied to the clipboard. Now, deselect your edited photo and select all of the photos that you want to change. Make sure each one is selected by tapping on it. Then tap the three dots once more, select Paste Edits. All of your edits that you copied will be pasted to all of the selected photos. Just open the photo that you want to edit in full screen mode like this. Tap the three dots once more and then select Paste Edits. All of the photos in this album will now have these edits applied to them with the exception of the original in the top left corner. If you tap edit one more time, you'll see the second icon on the left is the filters icon. If you tap that, you can use one of the provided filters. Just select a filter by tapping on it. And the photo will change accordingly. If you want to make a black and white photo without adjusting the saturation, you can use one of the black and white filters. There are three different ones mono, silver tone, and noir. Let me show you a creative way that you can use filters. Of course, just like before, you can tap on the filters icon and just apply one of the preset filters by tapping on it and the photo will change. I'm going to make this photo look like an aged photograph that's black and white. Tap on the saturation property and bring the saturation all the way down. This is so that I can apply the vivid warm filter in the last step to provide the sepia tone to this photo. I'll bring the contrast, shadows, and highlights all the way down to remove the detail. I've got more detailed videos on how to do this effect on my Apple Photos playlist on the channel. I'll leave a link to that playlist in the description of this video. One other thing you can do is bring up the exposure to make the photo even brighter than it is. Now I can tap on the filters icon and add several different filters to give the photo a different look. My favorites are Vivid Warm or the Sepia Tone. You can use the Silver Tone and Noir filters for the black and white look. Dramatic warm also looks pretty good. When you're done, tap on done and your changes will be applied to that photo.
The next icon over is the crop icon. This allows you to crop, reposition, and resize photos. You'll see three icons on the right. I'm not going to cover those in detail in this video, but essentially, as you can see, each of these icons changes the position of the photo in a different way. If you accidentally hit one of these icons and change the position and want to undo the changes, just tap the undo button at the top of the screen. Remember that any change you make is applied to the original photo. Just drag the crop handles to the position that you want. If you make a mistake in the cropping process, just tap the undo button and tap on discard changes and you'll be back to your original image. Tap on edit one more time and select the crop icon and you can crop the photo once more. If you tap the yellow icon in the upper right hand corner, you'll notice that you have a bunch of presets you can use. Once you've set a preset, you can move the photo around within that window. These presets will allow you to make photos of different sizes that are common. If you're working on an iPhone, you've got one additional one that's not shown here that says wallpaper. That setting will take the dimensions of the screen of your iPhone to let you know what a selected photo will look like as a wallpaper. Once you've selected one of your presets, you can tap on done. Watch this video recommended by YouTube. This playlist contains more tutorials just like this one. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload a new video. Join me next time.